Have you ever wondered how the ancient Egyptians built the Great Pyramid of Giza without modern machinery? Picture this, a structure of colossal proportions, its foundations laid over 4,000 years ago. The Great Pyramid of Giza, the oldest and largest of the three pyramids in the Giza necropolis, is a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. This architectural marvel, standing tall as the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, is the only one still largely intact. Its sides ascend at an angle of slightly less than 52 degrees, peaking at a staggering 480 feet. But the question that continues to baffle us is, how did they maneuver blocks weighing an average of two and a half tons to such an incredible height without the aid of cranes or block and tackle systems? This feat was a challenge to the ancient Egyptians and remains a mystery to modern archaeologists. Stay tuned as we delve into the secrets of the ancient Egyptians. To understand the mystery, we must travel back in time to the era when the pyramids were built. Picture a world 4,000 years ago, around 2000 BC, when the civilization of ancient Egypt was in its prime. This was the Old Kingdom period, often referred to as the Age of the Pyramids. Egypt was a prosperous and sophisticated society, ruled by powerful pharaohs who were both political leaders and gods in the eyes of their people. These pharaohs were considered divine, their rule was absolute and they wielded immense power. Everything in Egypt revolved around the pharaoh, from daily life to grand constructions. The pharaoh's divine status was crucial in shaping the civilization and its architectural marvels, including the pyramids. Now let's delve into the spiritual aspect of this civilization. The ancient Egyptians had a deeply ingrained belief in the afterlife. They believed that life did not end with death, but continued in another realm. This belief was so fundamental to their culture that they spent a significant portion of their lives and resources preparing for their journey to the afterlife. This is where the pyramids come into the picture. These grand structures were not just tombs but also a means to ensure a successful journey to the afterlife. They were built as eternal homes for the pharaohs, filled with all the things they would need in their next life. The pyramids were a physical representation of the ancient Egyptians' belief in the afterlife and their reverence for their pharaohs. The precision and scale of these structures reflect the advanced knowledge of the ancient Egyptians in various fields, including architecture, engineering and astronomy. The construction of the pyramids required careful planning, skilled labor, and vast resources, demonstrating the capabilities and achievements of this ancient civilization. The pyramids were a testament to their belief in life after death and their reverence for their pharaohs. As we delve deeper into the mystery of pyramid construction keep in mind this historical context and the spiritual beliefs that motivated the ancient Egyptians to undertake such monumental tasks. There are several theories about how the pyramids were built. At the heart of these theories are three key elements, ramps, levers, and a staggering workforce. Let's delve into these hypotheses and the debates that they've sparked among historians and archaeologists. The first theory, and perhaps the most popular, is the ramp theory. This idea posits that the ancient Egyptians constructed massive straight or spiral ramps to hoist these colossal stone blocks into place. Evidence supporting this theory comes from tomb illustrations and remnants of such ramps found near other Egyptian construction sites. However, critics argue that the size of the ramps required would be larger than the pyramid itself, making this method impractical. Moving on we come to the lever theory. This hypothesis suggests that the Egyptians used a system of levers to lift the blocks into position. Scenes depicted in ancient Egyptian tomb paintings show workers using levers to manipulate large objects. However, the immense size and weight of the pyramid blocks challenge this theory. Could a lever system really have been effective on such a monumental scale? The third theory focuses on the sheer manpower behind the construction. It's estimated that tens of thousands of skilled and unskilled workers were needed to build these pyramids. This workforce could have moved the massive blocks by pulling them on sledges, a method also depicted in ancient Egyptian artwork. Skeptics, however, question whether such a vast workforce could be managed effectively and whether there would have been enough resources to support them. Another intriguing theory is the water theory, which suggests that the ancient Egyptians could have used water to ease the transportation of the blocks. This theory is based on a wall painting in the tomb of Jehudihotep, which depicts a person pouring water in front of a sledge. Critics argue that the water would quickly seep into the sand, making this method ineffective. A more recent theory posits that the blocks were not carved but rather cast in place using a form of ancient concrete, 
This theory, though controversial, has gained some traction due to the discovery of certain anomalies in the pyramid's blocks that suggest they may have been cast. Despite the numerous theories, each with its own compelling evidence and criticisms, the exact method of pyramid construction remains a mystery. The pyramids of Egypt continue to captivate us with their grandeur and their enigma, standing as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of a civilization long past. The debate continues, with every new discovery shedding a little more light on this fascinating subject. Despite the numerous theories, the exact method of pyramid construction remains a mystery. Who built the pyramids and what tools did they use? This question has puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries. But, as we delve deeper into the annals of history, we begin to piece together a few answers. It's a common misconception that the pyramids were built by a multitude of slaves laboring under the whip. However, recent archaeological and historical evidence suggests that this was not the case. Instead, the pyramids were likely constructed by a workforce of paid laborers who were highly skilled and well compensated for their efforts. These laborers were not just men, women also played a significant role in the construction process, particularly in the preparation of food and the weaving of ropes. These workers were divided into teams, each with a specific role to play. Some were responsible for quarrying the massive blocks of limestone, while others transported these blocks to the construction site. Yet others were tasked with the delicate job of shaping and positioning the blocks. This was no easy task, considering each block weighed an average of two and a half tons. The tools they used were surprisingly simple, yet incredibly effective. Copper chisels, for instance, were used to cut and shape the blocks. Despite being softer than the limestone, the chisels were effective due to the technique used by the workers, which involved repeatedly striking the same spot until a groove was formed. To move these gargantuan blocks, wooden sledges were used. These sledges, combined with the manpower of dozens of workers, allowed the blocks to be transported across the desert. Despite the simplicity of their tools, the precision and skill of these ancient workers was nothing short of astounding. The pyramids stand as a testament to their incredible engineering capabilities, their tireless work ethic, and their indomitable spirit. The skill and dedication of the ancient Egyptian workforce was truly remarkable. They triumphed over their limitations, achieving feats that still amaze us to this day. The pyramids are more than just ancient structures, they are a testament to human ingenuity. The pyramids of Egypt are a shining beacon in the annals of human history, a reminder of a time when humanity was beginning to scratch the surface of its potential. They are a symbol of a civilization that achieved astonishing architectural feats which remain unrivaled to this day. These colossal structures built thousands of years ago are not just tombs for the mighty pharaohs of ancient Egypt. They are a testament to the advances in architecture and engineering made by a civilization that existed long before modern technology. Their grandeur and precision continue to inspire awe and marvel, pushing the boundaries of what we believe was possible in a time before cranes, computers, and modern construction techniques. The influence of the pyramids extends far beyond the borders of Egypt. They have left an indelible mark on the field of architecture, inspiring countless structures around the world. From the stepped pyramids of Mesoamerica to the monumental tombs of ancient China, the architectural influence of the Egyptian pyramids can be seen across the globe. Moreover, the pyramids have sparked a sense of curiosity that transcends cultures and generations. They have spurred countless theories and explorations, each seeking to unravel the mysteries of their construction. This thirst for knowledge has fueled advancements in various fields, including archaeology, history and engineering. The pyramids, in their silent majesty, continue to push us to learn, to explore, and to strive for greater understanding. The pyramids are not just relics of a bygone era, they are living monuments that continue to shape our civilization, our understanding of the past, and our aspirations for the future. They challenge us to question, to dream and to reach for the seemingly impossible. The pyramids stand as a testament to human ingenuity, reminding us of what we can achieve when we set our minds to it.